Nehemiah. Welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah. Renda guys, I'm more than happy to have you on board. Now this is uh, the Trinity part 2 where we are going to discuss the Excel formulas and our functions. But I guess uh, before we start, I want to make uh, this uh, request. If it's your first time to get into this channel, um, please take a second, subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. And uh, to the returning subscribers, Asante Sana. So guys, uh, without further ado, let me open the software. I'm using WPS. And uh, remember, it is fully compatible with uh, Microsoft packages 2016, uh, 2019, 2021. And uh, guys, I want us to begin with the very, very basic formulas, like uh, the addition, subtraction, division, and the multi multiplication you know, operations here. Now, I want us to begin with the addition. Now, with the addition, remember, guys, that uh, any operation in uh, Excel, any mathematical operation in Excel, you begin with an equal uh, operator here, the equal sign. So, like, if I want to find the addition for... Uh, you know the summation of uh, social studies and uh, science basically i just write equal sign and then uh, let me say um sigistron uh, for example sigistron plus uh, plus uh, 39 uh, 39 it is 39 when i click and i can see guess that it is 100 but then uh, this one is not efficient because uh, for example if you change the values like uh, to 14 uh, 40 you give it 40 and then uh, when you click and you can see guys uh, that uh, the answer still it is 100 but then uh, the values have changed here so now guys uh, there's uh, always an, if, uh, an efficient way to do that so that uh, when you change the values in the cells it automatically changes the uh, the results there you know the grand total now to do that guys uh, you begin with the equal operator here and then uh, now instead of selecting the values just select the cell like a cell for uh, 61 and then a uh, plus uh, plus now these are the cells for science when you click and you can see it is 101 but then uh, let's try to change like uh let's say 49 uh, 49 uh, let me say 49 when you click sorry it should be 49 and now when you click and you can see guys that the answer here automatically changed to 100 let's try now with the uh, 59 uh, 59 you can see guys when i click and uh, see here the at the end you can see the guys that the, the answer changes to 120 120 so guys i want us to begin uh, let's go to another one like uh, for subtraction now guys uh, with the subtraction uh, the same formula applies just write equal sign then i'll uh, write i uh, select the cell six strong and then a uh, minus uh, the other cell for uh, science then uh, when you click and you can see guess that uh, the answer is uh, two so uh, this is how you can uh, work with the subtraction now let's go to the uh the multiplication now guys uh, with the multiplication guys i uh, will use the um the asterisk you know operator here so let me begin with the equal sign and uh, for example let me select this cell and then uh multiply we use the the, uh, the asterisk here and then i uh, select the for signs when you click and i can see guys uh, you have this kind of a, of a value here at the end now let's try also with the division now with the division we use the forward slash so like a uh, beginning with the equal sign and then uh, for example select this cell then a plus and the other cell for science uh basically guys are uh, now this is um this is division so you begin you use this uh, you know you use this uh forward slash when you click and i can see that we have this kind of a value but then uh, let me try to do to do this let me uh, let me do this let me say here it is um let me give it 100 uh, divided by it, divided by the 2 let me say 2 and then i click and uh, you can see guys that it is uh, 50. so this is how you can do what uh, division basically guys this was some of the very uh, basic formulas in uh, excel so guys i want us to discuss the functions so for example guys uh, for example if you want to do the uh, the summation uh, of um of uh, Daniel Barras all the way from uh, English to social studies you can see guys are uh, you not know, doing the same like adding the says says like uh, let's do this like um equal sign then uh, let me say for example select this cell plus then I uh, select this cell plus uh, this cell plus uh, this uh, initial plus also mathematics plus um, a science uh, plus uh, social studies and then I click and I guess you can see that at the end is 260 but you have take you have took a lot of time here to do the operation now there's always a shortcut to do that that's why then uh, the excel functions uh, comes in so now I want us to I want to show you that you know uh, function for summation now you begin with the equal sign I saying that any operation in uh, excel any mathematical operation in uh, excel you begin with this uh, equal sign 
and then I write sum. Now this is the sum function. Then I open and I close the parentheses, and then uh, between these are two parentheses. Then I select the range. Select this range that you want to uh, to do the summation. Then I click enter. When you click enter, you can see the data. It has given us 262 in a very very short time, you know. So, guys, if you want to find the summation for other students, you don't have to repeat the same procedure. Just place your cursor there until it changes to this display. Then I drag it down, drag, drag, and then I guess it's gonna give us the summation for other students here. Uh, and so, guys, let's now discuss the uh, the minimum, uh, you know, function. So, like, I guess if you want to find the uh, uh, the minimum value in this uh, table array like you can just you know you can take a lot of time you know searching for the minimum value here going to this other end you know it's kind of um, hectic so what you do guys uh, uh, there's always a function to uh, to do that to check for you if there's a minimum value to check at uh, the minimum value in this uh, table array so you begin with the equal sign then you write a mean mean so basically this is the minimum function just write mean then I open and I close the parentheses and then you ensure that your cursor is in between these uh, two parentheses and then uh, what I do let me just uh, select this table arrange uh, array uh, you know table array uh, basically the, the range and then I just uh, click enter and then I guess you can see that uh, the minimum value here is two and that it is true it is two you can see we have two here we don't have any other value uh, less than two here for example if you give it zero for example somewhere like uh, here let me just give it another value like a zero when you click and you can see here the value changes to uh, to zero so guys let's now discuss the maximum value now with the maximum value just write uh, the equal sign the same procedure and then i write a uh, max max this is the max uh, you know a function then open and I close the parentheses and then uh, inside the parentheses now what you do select the your table array I select the table array and then uh, once you are done I just uh, click uh, enter and then at uh, the maximum value here you can see it is uh, 262 because okay, so if you want to find the uh, the number of cells that are has values in a in a in a range like uh, this range if you want to find uh, the number of cells that has values like uh, that seven you can see this this column does not have any value so basically if you want to find the to count the number of cells that are has the values in, in it then now uh, we are going to use another function called uh, count count now just write equal sign then uh, write count count like that then open and close the parentheses and then uh, now guys uh, what you do uh, select your range where you want to count now uh, click enter then I uh, guess you can see it is 126 so basically these are the you know says that are has you know values and I uh, remember guys uh, that uh, this one does not count the uh, the the letters let me select this range that uh, runs from this other end to uh, to here you can see guys uh, that it is still um it is uh, still 126 because it does not count uh, these are strings here count uh, let me just equal sign right equal sign then uh, let me say count uh, count a count a count sorry uh, count uh, count a count uh. then i click and uh, open and uh, close these parentheses and then what you do guys is now select your array and now and so guys you can see that uh, when i select all then i click enter then i uh, guys will have a new values here like uh, this uh, this one is 142 because it counts also with the this one with the you know uh, with the the strings but i uh, remember does not count the cells without the the values in it like uh, for example if i delete uh, the this number of cells and i click enter you can see the values here change to 140. now when i click another one here i delete another one another one then i click enter you can see it is 140 so it changes it's dynamic so basically guys that is how you can work with the counter now counter uh, counts including the strings and then uh, actually the integers and the strings in the count just count what the integers so basically guys uh, this uh, the difference between the count and the counter now guys uh, let's discuss the average how you can find the average so like if you want to find the average for uh, english basically the mean score for english Com or composition and so forth so basically we're going to use them and uh, the average what the average uh, function now uh, just write uh, here uh, let me write here average so that you can understand uh, well that we are discussing average here and then i guess i want us to do the average for english and then uh, for other subjects as well so write equal sign and then i write uh, average and then i click enter and then i select your array your your range then i click uh, enter 
basically the average for uh, this uh, English you know a subject the performance in English now what you do if you want to find uh, the average for other subjects you don't have to repeat the same procedure just place your cursor there and then it changes to this display then I uh, just uh, drag it to the end and then I guess you can see that I have the average for English this is uh, composition and then I remember here we don't have values that's why it give us this kind of an answer here then for Xoeli we have 26 uh, initial we have uh, 15.27 mathematics we have 28.875 science we have 25.375 and then our uh, social studies we have a uh, form of 45 and then uh, the total performance or uh, the total uh, you know marks uh, the average is uh, 175.3125 now let's say if you want to find the medium the medium let me first of all write here medium and then uh, if you want to find the medium in each uh, subject and then I uh, guess uh, you just write equal sign then uh, let's say median median and then I uh, select your table uh, your array here the you know the range then I uh, click enter and then I guess that is the medium. Now, if you want to find further subject, just do the same procedure. And then you're going to find what here. You're going to find uh, these uh, uh, medium values here. Now, let's discuss something called concatenation. Now, guys, uh, to concatenate is like uh, to combine or uh, to join, you know, uh, letters or uh, strings or and uh, so forth. So basically, guys, uh, if uh, I want, for example, let me write here my name. Uh, my name is uh, Nehemiah. Nehemiah. And then in this other cell, let me say Wekesa. Wekesa, if I want to join, if I want to join Nanemaya and Wekesa, then I'm going to use what the uh, concatenation uh, function. Now, uh, you just write an uh, equal sign, and then I uh, write uh, concatenate, concat, this function here. Then I uh, select your first cell, and then a uh, comma, and then uh, the last cell. And then I can see that, guess that uh, it is Nehemiah Wekesa. Now, basically, guess that this is how you can join or uh, concatenate, you know, uh, strings. You can as well concatenate with the, with the integers and so forth. And so, guys, uh, the other item that I want us to discuss is the, uh, the if function. And uh, if you are doing uh, programming, you are familiar with the if statements. And so, guys, now I want us to have this example. Like, uh, let me say if, uh, if, uh, and then uh, open and close the parentheses. And then uh, let me select this cell. For example, the, if this cell uh, is a... Uh, is a name tech let me write name tech by the way if you want to find this channel on youtube just search name tech name tech and then uh, you know close and then uh, i say that if uh, this cell uh, is name tech and then uh, let me say uh, true let me say true basically first of all create a comma there uh, create a comma to separate and then uh, let me say true let me say true uh, true uh, if it's name tech say true uh, if not just say uh, say false false uh, let, me say, let me say false and then I uh, close now when you click and I can see that it is false cause uh, this cell is Wekesa for example if I change to uh, name take name take guys I'll be observant here at the end the, these are this cell here now let me click on shift you can see that it is uh, true and so guys uh, the next item that I want us to discuss is the, uh, the count if and so guys uh, for example if you want to uh, find how many uh, something like a tens are available in this uh, table array or how many twenties are available here then I guess we are going to use the count if you know function so write equal sign then I uh, just write a count count if count if and then I guess uh, first of all select your table array or your range just select the range once you have selected the range then uh, now guess I select now then uh, first of all create a comma then I select now the value that you want to, to search like it is 20 I want to find how many 20 20s are available so basically when you say 20 this is now the criteria that you are going to use to count and then now guys I click uh, enter and then I guess you can see that uh, uh, 20s how many 20s are here they are uh, four 20s and I basically if you, if you search manually you can find that uh, here in this column you have one and this one we lack and this one you have uh, the second one and then uh, this one um we lack uh, this one we have uh, the other 20 so this is three and then uh, this one is four and uh, we don't have any other 20 here so basically guys uh, this is the this count of function is very very functional if you want to do it if you want to count you know uh, some of the values in the in your table array and so guys uh, the other item that i want us to discuss the levy lookup function so guys say let's say that you want to find the max uh, the total max that uh yeah, Sharon or Fuller got. So basically, this table is a, is a very short table you can find. Like a Sharon or Fuller, you can just go this way and uh, 
find it is 104 but let's say you, you, you have a very long table that stretches from this other end to the other end so guys to find the uh, the max that I got it might be you know uh, confusing like it'll be like searching for Sharon or Fuller and then I find yourself you know go, going to uh, the other row for uh, Edmond or Malwa here Edmond or Malwa then you find that it is 113 this one is for uh, Edmond or Malwa but uh, you confused to think that it is for a Sharon our fuller so guys that is where the VLOOKUP function comes in because it gives us the, uh, the accurate values so like uh, for example guys uh, let's say you want to look for maybe let's say this is uh, Esther Nusurotia so let me just write uh, uh, first of all let me create this other cell so let me say uh, Esther uh, Esther Nusurotia and then in this uh, empty cell so let me write now the VLOOKUP function here so let me say VLOOKUP a VLOOKUP function and then I guess uh, let me now select uh, this cell basically it is found in, in this uh, first column you ensure that it is in your first column the name that you have given here it is in this uh, first column then I write a comma I actually create a comma here then now select your table array here the range now this is the range that I want to find um that uh, the max that she got and uh, basically I'm going to target now the now the criteria or uh, basically the and the column number that I want to uh, to use to find the max is this column. So basically, let's count this: the first column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So basically, this is the eleventh column that I want to find uh, the max there. The uh, actually the grand total. So you just write a uh, eleven, and then I write a uh, column, and then I guess I can see here we have a false and a uh, true. Uh, you know values here. So basically guys if you want to find the exact match then you are going to use the false then at the true it's gonna give us the approximation approximate match. So basically remember false is the, is the same as zero. Basically if you if you want to find the exact match when you write zero it's the same as you know false in a match. When you click and I can see guys that she got um, a 192 and I can see here it is a 192. But uh, let's say if you if you want to find a four um let's say uh, daniel barasa here it is 262 so just write uh, here daniel uh, daniel barasa and then i guess what you do i click and you can see that she got uh, he got a 262 it is 262 let's search for sharon or fuller sharon or fuller is 104 so let's try sharon so let me say uh, sharon or fuller and then i click and you can see guys that uh, uh, he got a 104 and it is true he got she got a uh, 104 so guys uh, let's now uh discuss how you can find the uh, current time now guys uh, if you want to find the current time then uh, you're going to use the now uh, function uh, so let me write equal sign then uh, let me say now now then i click set these are two parentheses then i click enter then uh, you can see guys that uh, today it is uh, on uh, on on uh, first of, uh, of uh, august 2022 and uh, the time is 11.01 so basically guys that is what i wanted to show you in this video and i think you've gained something so please take a second subscribe like and share this video to your friends until next time uh, this is nehemiah